Então, o
president or in support of each and every more important meeting to go to. And would I please return to my bed?
But, but the difference is we don't allow uh, the federal government to do that uh, on, on tax. You might get close to the horse, Mr. Green, but you said two of the country. Well, I think that's my point. Is that <laughs> point is, that, that's my point. Whether we're, we don't have the, it, you know, we don't usually have the luxury of trying to single out one entity to exclude. Uh, when we start down that road, I think it can be very slippery slope. Well, you know, we're talking about 14, 15, 20 other groups that are applying to these same grants that do not fall under the uh, the uh, uh, tax of, of uh, abortion and uh, referring here to abortions. I don't think you can really uh, use this and, uh, and uh, as far as the war is concerned, I, don't, I just don't think you can use this bill and get screwed the two together. And are, are you aware, in states like Tennessee and others that have tried to do this, that they yes. have support and they have Law. Well, they have not lost. The only, the only times that they have been litigation are states that have taken it before they removed the Medicaid funding. But as far as state grants, those, those states have not received it. I think very very similar, similar deals happen in, in Tennessee and Memphis. Very similar to what you're trying to do. And that they have that problem in Memphis. Uh, they were enjoined by federal court from doing just what you're proponent of. But I'm back. Any other questions?
fight HIV AIDS and the rise in, in sexually transmitted diseases. It is not about abortions, but it is about singling out one entity. One entity. And the reason that they don't say Planned Parenthood is because the courts have consistently said you cannot single out one person. So we decide we're going to engage in some subterfuge and call them other entities. When we know about whom we are talking. This bill is not necessary. The school districts who have been served have been served well. We have got to continue to work with our young people so that HIV AIDS and STDs are not continuing to grow. A disproportionate number of the young people, especially young women of childbearing age, look like men. They're a lot younger than I am, they get a student, but they look like men. This is not about the homophobia that so often uh, contributes itself to this particular cause. But it is about eliminating the services of an entity that has a proven record of helping the individuals that the great was intended for. I ask that you vote again against this bill. Let us move on with closing the session now on positive note. Because our young people need as much help in making good decisions as they can possibly get. I would appreciate a vote on the bill.
Sort of the middle. Would you like to close for your bill or are you close? He's close. It's called Rome. There's a parent's desk, but I Seeing no more. 